ഹാവ് യു ഹാഡ് അബൌട്ട് അഡിനോ റീസെൻ്റ്ലി മേ ബി യു ഹാവ് സീൻ സം എക്സൈറ്റിംഗ് പ്രോജക്ട് യൂസിംഗ് ആൻ അഡിനോ ബോട്ട് ബട്ട് വാട്ട് എക്സൈറ്റ്ലി ഈസ് ആൻ അഡിനോ ദ നെയിം മൈറ്റ് ബി സൗണ്ട് അൺയൂഷ്വൽ ബട്ട് ഡോൺ വറി ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ സിമ്പിൾ ടൈംസ് ബൈ ദി എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ യു വിൽ ലേൺ വാട്ട് ആൻ അഡിനോ ഈസ് ആൻഡ് വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സോ പോപ്പുലർ What exactly is Arduino? The best way to understand Arduino is to look at what it can do. Simply put, Arduino is a tool for controlling electronic components. Think of it like a pencil. A pencil is a tool that helps you write. If you need to write something, you pick up a pencil. Arduino works in a similar way. It's a tool that helps you control electronic devices. But what kind of electronics are we talking about? Let's divide them into two categories, inputs and outputs. Inputs are electronic components that collect information like temperature sensor, light sensor, touch sensor, flex sensors. And outputs are components that perform actions such as DC motors, stepper motors, solenoids, LCD displays, LED lights and speakers. Arduino allows you to read input signals and control output devices, making it a powerful tool for electronics projects. But how does Arduino work? When we talk about Arduino, we are actually referring to three things. Arduino hardware, software, and code. Let's explore each word. Arduino boards are physical components of the platform. There are many types of Arduino boards, but one of the most popular is the Arduino Uno. All Arduino boards have one key component in common. It's a microcontroller. A microcontroller is like a small computer that processes inputs and control outputs. When someone mention an Arduino board, they are referring to a printed circuit board with electronic component that help control external devices. Arduino is not just about hardware, it also includes software. The Arduino IDE, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, is a free software application that you can download onto your computer. It allows you to write and upload programs to your Arduino board. The interface is simple and looks like a text editor, making it easy for beginners to use. The third part of the Arduino system is the Arduino code. The code written in the Arduino IDE is called a sketch. It is based on the C and C++ programming languages but with special functions designed for Arduino. When you write and upload this code to your Arduino board, it tells the microcontroller what to do, whether it's trading on a motor, lighting a panel LED or reading sensor data. Next we discuss why is Arduino so popular. Recall that I said the key component of an Arduino board is the microcontroller. Now traditionally microcontrollers are pretty complicated to use. The user manual for one is easily over 300 pages long and it is filled with tons of technical jargon. But what the creators of Arduino did was make using microcontrollers as easy as possible. So, how did they make microcontrollers easy to use? Okay, let's go back to the Arduino three parts. First, the Arduino board itself is designed for easy to use. You can connect your computer with a simple USB cable. Connecting electrical components to the microcontroller is also very easy with an Arduino board because they have these plastic holes around the perimeter of the board. They are called headers. and to connect an electrical component to the microcontroller you just stick the component inside the holes it's literally that easy and our arduino also has built in external power jack so when it is not hooked up to the computer it can still powered by a battery pack so that like the ease of the hardware side but the arduino ide is also designed for easy to use there are lots of integrated development environment out of there But the Arduino IDE is built simplicity in mind. It is really just a basic window where you type the code. And uploaded that code that you have written in the Arduino IDE, you have simply pressed the button and it uploaded. The other reason of Arduino is popular. The Arduino board itself is open source hardware. That means while there is a company named Arduino that makes Arduino boards and supports the Arduino IDE. There are also other companies that makes Arduino compatible boards that can also programmed in the Arduino IDE. So there is a huge hardware and a code ecosystem for you to work with. Finally, Arduino hardware is generally pretty inexpensive and that helps keep it popular as well. Thank you for watching and happy experimenting with Arduino.